At Titus Restoration, we are more than a nationwide concrete polishing contractor. We also specialize in concrete floor restoration, using the best technology to restore our customers' floors after years of wear or damage. One of our custom solutions is polymer patching mortar. It's a chemical and acid resistant floor coating system that delivers an easy solution to surface problems, such as failing and deteriorating joints, large divots, or large surface cracks resulting over time and conditions. In this video, we will discuss the process of prepping and mixing to repair these areas. First, start by measuring the area to be patched and prep it for jackhammering. Saw cut along the measured lines to mark your area. Continue by cutting lines on the inside of the area. This will allow for easier chiseling. Once prepped, the jackhammer can be used to chisel out the area. Keep inside of the main patch cut to get even edges. Always wear the required protective gear, such as gloves, respirator, safety goggles, and ear protection. After the patch area has been cut out, concentrate on leveling out the high spots in the exposed concrete to ensure that the mortar mix will evenly spread at the correct depth. Ensure the edge lines are straight and the depth is even for the entire patch area. Sweep out the exposed concrete and thoroughly clean it by vacuuming out the area. This is important so that the primer and the mortar mix can properly adhere. Once the area is clean and free of all debris, the primer can be mixed. This primer will prepare the concrete for the MMA mortar material. This primer, because volatile, is unable to be used 10 minutes after mixing. Working with it in small portions will prevent waste. Based on the size of your area, mix either a one quart mixture or a half quart mixture. This mixture will then be split among three to four people to avoid waste. Start by measuring out the R51 component into the quart container. Next, measure the powdered BPO. Once both components are measured, mix both the BPO into the R51 using a stirring stick to make primer for the new patch. Again, divide this mixture as needed since you will only have 10 minutes for application. Using a disposable paintbrush, apply the primer evenly on the exposed concrete. Do not pour the mixture directly on the surface. This will use up too much primer and you will not have enough. If the mixture begins to get hot and smoky, you will need to dispose of it and mix a new batch prior to continuing. If you experience the mixture getting hot before 10 minutes, you may use less BPO in the mixture. The primer will cure within 20 minutes and the MMA can be applied. After the primer, it is time to mix the patching material. This is a resin mortar mix. There are three components that are needed to complete the mix. Hardener liquid, resin mortar, pea gravel. You will also require clean mixing barrel, mixer, Based on the size of your area, you can double or triple the mix accordingly. Note, all chemicals and rock must be dry. Remember to always wear the required protective gear such as gloves, respirator, and safety goggles during this procedure. Start the mixing process by placing a bag of the R17 powder inside the clean mixing barrel. Place the mixer inside the barrel. Never lift the mixer out of the barrel while in use. Ensure the mixer handle comes to a complete stop before removing it from the barrel. While mixing, pour the R17 liquid activator into the barrel. Do not look down into the barrel while these components are mixing. 
While mixing, add the measured pea gravel to the barrel. Mix until all components are thoroughly blended. This mixture will harden very quickly, so it is important to pour and trowel it quickly. While troweling, make sure you fill in any additional cracks and holes and make sure that all edges and corners are filled. Once the patch has been troweled with the mixture, the following should be completed for cleanup. While keeping unused materials dry, you can clean out the mixing barrel and mixing tip. The paintbrush from the primer may be thrown away. The mixing quartz and mixing sticks may be used again once cleaned and dried thoroughly. Our customers see reflection comparable to polished concrete, increased durability and longevity compared to anchoring cement, additional scratch resistance, and acid and chemical resistance. It is flexible enough to meet the strict requirement of health inspectors and is environmentally friendly. Remember to always be clean and courteous while on the job. If any questions or doubts arise during a job, always call and ask someone. We want to do the job right the first time. We hope this helps you in your training. We strive to provide the highest quality our customers want and deserve. Thank you for watching.